Peter, a battling performance against the League One side. We've just come up a, a tiny little bit short this afternoon. What was your thoughts on the game? Um, I didn't think we come up short. I just thought we, you know, we just maybe tried to be too intricate around the box. You know, there was several occasions around the goal when we could have had a shot, or you know, and even even after they scored their goal, we've had several you know moments of play around their edge of the area when you're just thinking, just hit it, just have a strike, just have a shot. Um, so I wouldn't have said we just come up short. I thought we matched them for long periods. They had, we had a very good start and started 15, 20 minutes into the game and were very good. Could have obviously had a chance in the first minute with Efron. Um, then they had the better of the second half of the first half, if you like, um, for the 20 minutes. They had a bit more possession, but never threatened and never really had a shot on goal. Um, second half, they came out, obviously had kickoff. Um, and then, but I thought that as the half went on, it became a bit more open and a bit more to and fro. And, you know, and eventually it was just going to be that, you know, you know you, you, we don't want it to be, but we'd like it to have been for us. But that one goal was going to, going to decide it. And, you know, we didn't, I didn't think we rode our luck as we did in the first game, in the, in the Burton game. But we, we matched them throughout, throughout, the, throughout the game and just, like I said, just, just were a little bit unlucky or just didn't quite, weren't quite clinical enough in the final third. It must take a lot of heart from the fact we create so many openings. Mm. As you say, after the goal, we had that chance with, with Ben as the ball come over the top. Yeah. And we had other chances. So we can definitely take that into the league. Well, I think the most important thing is the reaction of the players. And, and in that change room now, it's a very, very solemn changing room because they know the, how close they've come to, to, to being in that, in, that, in that draw. So if they're hugely disappointed by that, then that is the minimum standard every week now. Um, and, they, and there's no way or reason why they should drop below that, just purely on their effort and character. Um, and we need to now transform that form into the league games because obviously we need some. We've got some catching up to do. Uh, we've got a couple of games in hand, but but so have a lot of teams, and, and we just need to start putting some points on the board. But but most importantly is now is how we move forward from this. And we've had a, a really rough week, as we mentioned um, before this week. Um, but this week we've had a, a better week and certainly two better performances. Um, and, and we now need to now move that forward again. You must be really pleased with, with the character and the heart that we showed throughout the game. We never really let MK Dons get on top, and in the end, they've brought on a, an experienced striker in Cameron Drummond. That's only been the slight difference today. It wasn't, I, you know, I don't even think he was the difference because, in general, play, I mean, that's, he, you know, that's why he's been paid all that money to, to be in, in exactly where he was to, to pop the goal in. So, um, so like I said, I, I don't think he made the difference. I thought, obviously, we, they had. You know, outside of the of the goal, uh, as the game opened up, second half again. I'm trying to think of Scott making saves. I think he made one, and obviously they had the one that came from our a little bit of bad play by us that hit the bar in the first half. Um, but outside of that, like I said, it was it was difficult. But it was it was for me it was a it was a very very good performance, a very complete performance. Apart, the only thing that was lacking was that goal or goals. Um, so, but again. You know, we've created chances and we've put the balls in the right areas and it's just now a case of now finishing them off. But the rest of it looks up to now, looks pretty solid and we look solid defensively. Um, and we look, you know, we look a decent outfit on, in that transition of breaking forward out of possession. So like I said, so at the moment it's looking good and the character's always been there. And that's why it was a little bit of a, um, a, a bit of a, uh, you know, a Bermuda Triangle week where we've just, we don't know why, why they were like they were because we hadn't done anything different. And it just is purely down to a mentality. But there, they seem to be back on it again now. And, uh, and they've had two very good performances. Unfortunately, not quite the right result today. But, you know, but like I said, but it's, a, it's a nice platform for us to move forward to Halifax on Wednesday and then obviously to Wilstone on Saturday. Yeah, as you said, you'd like to think if we can put in a similar performance as we did against Hartlepool on Tuesday and then today against MK Dons, against Halifax and Wilstone, the goals will come and draws can turn to wins? I think most importantly for now is performances have to be right. At the end of the day, results will... You need a little bit of luck. We went to watch Sutton Halifax yesterday, you know, and uh, you know, and it was a game of two halves. Sutton controlled it first half, Halifax controlled it second half, and, and barring a little bit of luck, Halifax should have maybe got a result out of the game. Um, so it's just about that, that finishing touches. But what's most important is we have very similar... I mean, I thought today's performance was great. Tuesday's performance was good. We've improved on that today even though the result hasn't fallen into place. And if we continue in them performances, eventually results will take care of themselves. So like I said, so it's really important that we have, the, we have a, 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 an improved performance again or a similar performance as what we've had today in the next two or three games to build them confidences up to, to then, to then you know, start putting points on the board. We were just saying off camera, it sort of sums up our luck at the moment that Mikey seems to have had a hamstring injury mm. there. That 
It's just not really getting the rub of the green injury wise at the moment. We're not, and it's difficult because obviously Mikey's been an integral part of the group for a long time now, and he's he's got himself his three or four goals that he's done, and and he's been very popular around the changing room, and and he's uh, and he's done great for us. Um, but again, these are the things, you know, that that you have to put up with because we've had we've got a lot of players who haven't played a lot of football, um, and you know, and we've had an overload of games recently, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, and high intensity games as well. Um, and unfortunately, this is a product of, of having so many games and the players have maybe not being quite as, as match fit or match prepared as they, as they would like to be. Um, so yes, it's been difficult because again, we took Mikey out at Woking on Saturday to give him a rest because we knew he was tired, um, but then thought at home, bring him back into the team. And then obviously he's a, he's a great outlet for us today, but you know, like I said, but we, we have nothing really to change it with because we don't have a particularly big squad because we've got so many injuries at the minute. So have we had, we had a fit squad? Maybe he might not have played today and we would have kept him for a little bit longer, but that's the way it goes. And I'm gutted for Mikey, as everybody is. And uh, let's just hope that it's, it's a speedy recovery for him and, it's, and he's not going to be out for too long. Uh, just lastly, it's a quick turnaround to Wednesday night, a long mm -hmm. trip to uh, FC Halifax Town. What would the message be going into this one and, and what will your plans be because there's really not a lot of time between games at no, the moment. So again, so again, this is what we're talking about. So it's an overload of games. We've played a very high intense game today at f full pelt for 90 minutes or 94 minutes, whatever it was, against a team two divisions above us. Um, so that's put a lot of strain on the body and also on the mind because obviously they've got to be mentally prepared and mentally sharp as well. Um, so we'll, there'll be a day off tomorrow for them. It will probably be a very light recovery session on Tuesday. And then obviously we'll travel on Wednesday and we just got to be careful how we how we pick the team ready for ready for Wednesday because obviously we need to be you know we need to be careful on otherwise we're starting running out of players um, but also obviously and the, the message will be is the same performance same performance as we've had today that's that's the that's the lowest state you know that's the minimum standard requirement is that they have the same performance as they've had today actually I will finish on this time next week we would have played Wolfstone in the league and you'd like to think we would have had the fans in that stand behind mm. you and performance wise we're building a bit of momentum going towards that one I think most importantly I think that that's, that's the biggest thing for us is obviously we want fans back you know um, and I think the players would like to have them back um, and like I said and you know yes we had a little bit of a sticky week but I think the fans have stuck by us and got behind us and I think over the last two games they've shown what it is that we've you know we've shown us what, what we're trying to do and what we're trying to build on and and, uh, and they'll hopefully come and support that and get behind us and like I said the most important thing is they come back in and get behind us and, and the players show the same aptitude and attitude as they have done today and Tuesday.